Just kidding. Totally their fault. Well, a BYU student says it is a miracle that she is alive tonight. She was involved in a hit and run accident that could have sent her plummeting over a bridge and right into the Ogden River. As new specialist Tanya Dean reports, the young woman believes guardian angels saved her life. It's Christmas and you're supposed to have everything go wonderful for you, you know, and then something happens that just kind of wakes you up. <laughs> Two days before Christmas and Sherry Allred's whole world almost came crashing down. Her daughter, Rachel, a sophomore at BYU, was driving home from Ogden around 11 p.m. She was on Harrison Boulevard when she saw headlights. The driver was coming up behind me really fast. Right behind her. And I was like, they're going to hit me. And so I just braced myself and they pushed me. When they hit me the first time, they pushed me towards oncoming traffic. And I was straightening out and then they hit me again. Rachel's car completely spun around and hit a guardrail. It stopped her from plunging into the Ogden River directly below. I just looked over the ravine and I saw the darkness and the blackness over there. And I thought, I'm gonna be at the bottom of that ravine and I don't wanna be. We walked down from the road today to see where Rachel would have ended up if her car had gone over that guardrail. This river with boulders jutting out is where she could have ended up, but who knows if she would have survived the fall. After the accident, Rachel and her mom returned to the crash site. They don't think it was just luck that Rachel walked away. And I thought, well, how did that stop? How did you not um, go over the edge if you were spinning? And she said it just stopped almost like on a dime, just poof. And I just couldn't help but think that guardian angels were watching over her. Right. I could have hit it straight on, but my car turned at the last second, hitting the guardrail, and it turned and it like stopped. So as if like God was like, there you go. You know? <laughs> it's been five days since the crash. And while she has a little whiplash and now she's without a car, Rachel is grateful that her story has a happy ending. Life is precious. Every day since, I've just been thinking, I'm here and I'm with my family and I'm alive. In Ogden, Tanya Dean, KSL 5 News. Tanya, thank you. Ogden police are still looking for the driver who hit Rachel's car and took off. If you have any information about